What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm making this to say that I'm sorry. I was wrong. I fucked up. Last year, T. Martin made an apology video where he almost kind of apologized for scamming eight-year-olds into wasting money on his shit-ass CSGO website, and I called it the worst apology video that could have ever been made. And I was wrong, because Social Repos has blown that shit out of the water with this new humdinger here. So this man right here who looks like Marilyn Manson's asshole is a YouTuber by the name of Social Repos, and he was dating another YouTuber named Jacqueline Glynn, and he cheated on her, and obviously she's very upset, so she made a video about the whole situation to update people, and that prompted him to make his own response to it, and it's fucking abysmal. I'm not gonna make the bold claim I did last year and say it's the worst that could be ever given on this site, but damn, you're gonna have a hard time topping this one. You've got your work cut out for you if you're trying to make a bad apology this year. Yeah, I, um, I fucked up. I'm definitely going to lose some fans. I'm going to lose some friends. Uh, you know, but there's, there's two sides to every story. Um, I wouldn't really call this a defense. Yeah, you're right. This can't be a defense because there's no way you could defend yourself here. But that doesn't stop him from trying. He's out here looking like the Joker about to deliver a monologue. Ah, uh, you want to know how I got this gonorrhea? So I just, I guess I would like to ex explain some things. All the, the brutal graphic details that she uh, explained to everyone. So I'd like to give some some very descriptive details of my own. Um, not to slander Jacqueline or anything, just to kind of, I guess, give you a, a deeper context. But why? How could having a deeper understanding of the context provide any type of justification for the cheating? I doubt it was some type of heroic sacrifice where the girl you fucked had a bomb in her pussy that would destroy the city if you didn't defuse it by sticking your cock in there. It really just seems like he's doing this out of spite because Jacqueline went into such brutal detail as he described, so he kind of just did this to try and throw some shit at her that would make her look kind of bad. He actually even deleted her comment on this video. I don't know entirely what the comment said, I just saw a picture of it and I only got a little snippet, but it was her kind of disproving some of the points he's about to make. And naturally, if you're making an apology to someone, the next logical step is then to remove that comment from the person you're apologizing to to really let them know that you're sorry i i do deeply i do deeply regret it um honestly some pretty shitty acting from him during this arc of the anime it sounds like some house of the dead 2 voice acting here it, it kind of was a classic case of social media showing the best parts of your relationship on social media so everyone thinks everything's just peaches and roses all the time and it's it's just not it's a lie um we were happy but there's obviously a dark side to everything clearly i truly have no idea what point he was trying to make with this here oh just a classic case of us showing the best parts none of you had any ideas i was actually cheating on her behind her back just a classic case of one of those things you know because i did cheat on her um just like i did my ex-girlfriend um which everyone knows about because of our best friend. I don't really see what there is to giggle about there. Oh ha ha ha, you guys remember when I did this last time? Thanks to our best friend that blew that case wide open. Ha ha ha, classic best friend. Yeah, I betrayed a lot of people, ha ha ha. I met Jacqueline and she was perfect. She was an atheist. She, I don't know, she just, she, she cared so much about me and just everything that I did and I, I did care about her. And, I don't know, everything just made sense. I cut a few things out here, but it really served no purpose. I don't even see why he would talk about it unless he was really trying to stretch this video past 10 minutes for ad revenue, which would be an incredibly douchebaggy thing to do. But I wouldn't put it by modern YouTube creators. What he was saying is he, he vowed never to have another public relationship since he cheated on his last girlfriend, but then he met Jacqueline and obviously had a public relationship. And he also talked about another promise he made a while back where he said he would never ever cheat on anyone ever again. And he was wrong. Just like my father when he said I would be six foot five when I grew up. My dad is six foot five, my mother is five foot two. So luckily I split the fucking difference and I'm five foot six, so I'm really short for a 23 year old man and it really fucking sucks. Why couldn't I be six foot, dad? Huh? Why couldn't I at least get close to your six foot five towering Chad height? But anyway, I love this line from Social Repos. She was perfect. She was an atheist. What a low bar of entry to being perfect in this man's eyes. In this moment, I am euphoric because girl atheism. Yippee. Fucking, I, I don't know anything about these two, and I'm sure Jacqueline's a great girl for a lot more than just being an atheist. 
<laughs> I imagine there's gotta be a lot more to somebody to make them perfect than just being a fucking atheist. But for some reason, this man cares so little about her, he couldn't think of any more good qualities other than her atheism. That's just fucking sad, really. And she kind of took me on with with the thought that she could fix me and that you know there obviously there were there there's a lot of there's a lot of good parts that she saw in me and you know, I, I commend her for that but at the same time you know everyone did warn her and what an ironclad defense fucking bulletproof Jacqueline you knew what you were getting into people warned you you should have expected this from me you knew this was gonna happen you shouldn't have been surprised you knew I was going to put my small pee, pee into other lady buttholes. This shouldn't have come as a surprise. This is your fault. It's incredible. He kind of just blames her for this whole thing happening. You should have expected it. This was going to happen and people told you. Unbalanced in the relationship even early on, which terrified me. And I, I, I could never bring it up to her. All the way, we dated for 11 months and I could never talk to her about it just because I was so afraid because... She got so attached to me so quickly. She was just, it's almost like she just, after month two or three, she was like ready to settle down with me and ready to get a house. And it just seemed so perfect. And I was like, what are you doing? What, what do you... From the comment Jacqueline left, the snippet I saw, this is the part she was disproving. Apparently this wasn't an, a thing that happened. It was him that brought up the idea of moving in together or some shit. It doesn't really matter either way who's right or wrong on that subject because this point is just moot. It serves absolutely no purpose in this video. It looks like this man's skin is about to fall off of his fucking body here. He's like a reptilian shedding here. His flaky dry skin, I think he's suffering from extreme psoriasis or something, but this man needs some moisturizer ASAP. His face just must be made out of paper mache and it's starting to crack now. I just would like to say that I'm sorry to anyone um, that looks up to me or that follows me. Well, I'm glad you've apologized to the misguided teenagers that for some reason think you're a good role model. That's very nice of you. How about an apology to Jacqueline? At no point throughout this entire thing does he say, I am sorry for what I did, Jacqueline. I didn't hear that phrase. If you're gonna apologize, fucking apologize. Here, take some notes to any of you out there that may have fucked up and are thinking about doing a YouTube apology video. A, don't do that. And B, if you really feel so inclined that the Lord has chosen you to make this great apology video, then do these things actually apologize for it say you fucked up and you're going to work on fixing it say tell how you're going to work on fixing it and again apologize for the fucking thing that happened this man goes on a 10 minute rant about shit that doesn't matter the next part of this he talks about is content on his channel why what is the point the video is supposed to be an apology to jacqueline about what happened I cut a lot out to this point, but basically he drew the conclusion that he shouldn't be in relationships, he's not good at them. He also speculates that maybe he has a sex problem and should get help, but then says he doesn't believe in getting help. So about 9 minutes of this 10 minute video are just empty, useless words. He could have bent over and just farted into the camera for 9 minutes and it would have had the same impact of the shit he talks about in here. Fucking useless. Um, and it's clearly I'm, I'm a careerist. I'm, I'm so deeply entrenched in social repose just as an entity that it do, it comes first it comes before all my love and relationships and even family to an extent this is my life i've chosen it um and i put my all into it oh you poor hero all the sacrifices you made to make mediocre youtube content god damn my hat's off to you, social repos. If only we Cro-Magnon understood what it meant to be in your shoes. All of the women you've had to fuck behind your girlfriend's back. Damn, we would have so much more appreciation for the art you create here. You certainly are an expert careerist by cheating on a YouTube personality that's pretty fucking big and then taking all of this negativity to your channel, losing a lot of subs. Man, you've really got careerism figured out, social repos. Take notes out there, any up-and-comers. This man's got it down to a science. I'm, I'm a little hurt that she kind of broadcasted everything. Um, I'm not hurt that she talked about the cheating. I knew she would have, she would have to talk about it, that, talk about that at some point. But to go into such graphic detail feels a little unnecessary. Um, but it's out there, so. Oh damn, now I feel bad. He's hurt that she talked about it to such an extent. I mean, there was a set amount that he was okay with and that he would have given his blessing to, but to go past that, that's a bit disrespectful, Jacqueline. You really hurt his feelings with this. I hope you understand. And honestly, he made such a convincing argument. I'm convinced he's the victim in all this. Jacqueline made it all public, and it really hurt his reputation. Yeah, I guess I'm just, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry I let you guys down. Um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to make more art and more music. And if you don't want to follow me anymore because you think I'm a shitty person or because I'm disgusting or because I just, you, you can't stand the thought of ever watching me again because of what I did to Jacqueline, um, I can't make you stay. But I promise you I'll do better with my videos and, and my content. And, you know, I'm... Once again, just apologizing to the audience that found out, not to Jacqueline, but at least he's promising to do better with his content, so I'm looking forward to his Minecraft Let's Plays that he's going to steer towards. And yeah, just overall, an absolutely atrocious apology here. I cut a lot out, but there was a big rant about the content on his channel and how he was unsatisfied with it, so at least he understood what the big issue here, which was his content starting to slip up, not the cheating. That was just secondary. It's really all about the content, but he's promising to do better content, so yeah, that's about it. This guy seems like a big douchebag to me. See ya.